the operation and use of T40 and T20P remote controller will be introduced in this section. This is the power button of the remote controller. Short press this button when it is turned off to check the built-in battery level of the remote's controller. Short press and long press to turn the remote controller on. When it is turned on, short press to turn off the screen to save power. Short press and long press to turn off the remote controller. These are screen edge buttons with the function the same as the icons in the corresponding position of the remote controller screen. You can click the screen icons to select the function or click the physical buttons at the corresponding location. This is a 5D custom button. The operation method is to press the middle button down or toggle the buttons in the four directions. In the remote controller settings, you can set these five buttons of the up, down, left, right, and middle to different shortcut functions. For example, set the up as spotlight switch. This is emergency stop switch. When in the route mode, press this button or toggle the right control stick, and the drone can quickly enter the emergency hovering state to avoid collision accidents. This is link indicator light, which turns green when the remote controller and the drone are successfully linked. It is red when the remote controller is not linked to the drone. This is the power indicator of the remote controller. Before taking off, check the power of the remote controller to ensure that it is sufficient before performing the operation, so as to avoid the automatic shutdown of the remote controller due to insufficient power and lose control. This is RTH button. Press and hold for two seconds to activate the function, and the drone will return to the position recorded before taking off. When returning to home, short press the button to cancel the return, and the drone will hover in place. This is the return button. During the operation, short press to return to the previous page. This is spray slash spread switch button. Short press to manually start spray or spread. This is the flow rate adjustment dial, which can adjust the spraying slash spreading flow in real time during manual operation. This is the flight mode switch. S is attitude mode, and F and N are satellite positioning modes. Generally, the satellite positioning mode is used by default. This is micro SD card slot, in which you can insert a micro SD card and import data to the remote controller. This is USB-A interface which can be used to connect the remote controller with other devices, such as charger and charging station to activate the device or check the status. This is an HDMI interface, which can be connected to a TV or projector to project the remote controller screen on the display device. This is USB-C interface, which can be used to charge the remote controller and also connected to a computer and other devices. This is FPV slash map switch button. Short press to switch between the FPV screen and the map, and this can be realized by directly tap the bottom left corner of the screen. This is camera adjustment dial, by which you can adjust the tilt angle of the camera. These buttons are C1, C2, and C3. They are all custom buttons and can be set to common functions. For example, set the C3 button as clear flight route. This is multi-aircraft switching dial, by which you can switch between different devices by turning left or right. This is external battery and dongle hatch key. Press it to the bottom and then pull up the cover to open the hatch. This is remote controller battery fixing switch. Short press to remove the external battery. When installing the external battery, press the battery to the bottom and push up slightly. The following describes the installation method of the dongle. Firstly, remove the two screws of the hatch. Insert the SIM card into the dongle. Connect the dongle antennas to the 4G port. Insert the dongle into the remote controller. Finally, cover the hatch and tighten the screws. Here are a few shortcut operations between the return button and other buttons. Return button plus spray slash spread button for quick screen recording. Return button plus FPV slash map switch button for quick screenshots. Return button plus flow rate adjustment dial on the left to adjust screen brightness. Return button plus FPV angle adjustment dial on the right to adjust the volume of the remote controller. Of course, these operations can also be done through the drop down list. The above is all the content of the remote controller. Thank you for watching.